Okay, don't forget. For me, I am here for the last seven years. You've been there for seven years? Yes. But they even, it, is it seven? Not even seven. Because next month, it will be eight years. Oh, so, happy. my message to somebody who have a sister or a cousin mm. or a mother or you yourself and you're willing to come... <clears throat> Welcome back to my my channel. Today I'm going to int uh, to interview Mesh Winter. She calls herself Mesh, but she's Mary, Mary, the mother mother of Jesus, right? <laughs> yeah, mother of Jesus. Please go to her channel and subscribe to her channel. She has great content. Mesh, could you please introduce yourself? I don't want to. Hi guys. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. As you know, I am Mesh. So if you don't know me, go and sub there. There's so much to this interview. Today I'm the guest. I am the guest. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mesh, where are you from? And where are we are you talking me from? To, talking to me from? Uh, I am, um, let me say my real names. My real names are Mary Wangu. Mary Wangu. Mary Wangu. Oh, I like Wangu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Wangu in Swahili, but if I go to the, my tribe, they will say Mary Wangu. I'm a Kenyan, uh -huh. but working in Lebanon. Great, great. How is Lebanon? Let me say, Lebanon it is a cool country, but with too much problems. So, if you're saying too much problem, I it's it's still it's still in the east east Gulf. Yeah, it is. It's uh, in the Gulf, Lebanon huh? is in the middle. Yeah, it is in the middle east. There are Arabs, but the difference with the other Arabs is that Lebanon we have half Christian and half Muslims. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are so many cases of uh, people dying in, in the Gulf, yeah. especially the cases of housemates dying in the Arab country. What can you say about that? Uh -huh. That is the biggest issue happening in this year, 2022. Because as for me, I've been long here in the Middle East, but the, the problem was not that high. So I'm wondering what is happening. But I think we have this tension that people are coming in the Middle East, and maybe some of them, they are coming when they are sick. And you know here, when you come here and you come sick, the only medicine you get is Panado. And then we have poor, oh. poor, I mean very poor offices and our agents who don't care about anyone. So if you come home, you come from home with the mentality that you're coming to live with good people who are going to do for you everything, my friend, you are very wrong. Here you come, you alone, and you are gone. That is the problem. Uh, you are saying the, the agents are leaving you by yourself. There are some people who are coming to the Gulf without agents. Yes. Yeah. But also, if you come with an agent, forget about the agent. Because it's just he or she is after money. After money, he even cannot recognize you again. What do you mean after money? When you're going to the Gulf, do you pay some money to, to go no, to we work are in the Gulf country? We are bored. Nili, we are bored. You are bored? Yes. Yes. You mean the agents buy girls from Kenya to take to to take to Lebanon or to everywhere, Arabia? all the countries. Oh wow, that's very really unfortunate. I didn't know that. Because because if an agent, even like let me say, because personally I'm in Lebanon. For a lady to come in Lebanon from Kenya, the agents they are paid two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. That's two hundred thousand shillings. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand hundred shillings, Kenya man. So when mm -hmm. you come to your boss and you have some issues and maybe you want to go home, 
the boss always insists you have to pay me the thousand dollar which I bought you with so that you can go back home. Yeah. You mean that they're even telling you that they bought you? Oh, of course, oh, they will tell you we bought you. Um, that's why you have too much problem. The problems on your last video, you spoke about the death that have been happening to, in the Gulf country. Yeah, and uh, you spoke you spoke very sadly about the girl who was beaten and uh, did not get help. Yeah. Who do you think we should speak to so that you get help in the car in the Gulf country? The first thing, if you have the problem, me I used to say this, if you have a problem, you should first solve with your boss. Start from there. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. them know that you know you are right. Eh? If they don't take any step, report them to your agent. The agent in Lebanon. Please don't call your agent back in Kenya because he or she will not care. I think only few of them. But the first people, mm. agent in Lebanon. If you have an office, like if there is embassy, in a way that embassies, they are not helping, maybe in some countries in Lebanon, we don't have embassy or consulate. We are just in the, we are just like that. Yes. We are just, You're just surviving. Floating. We are floating ah. like this. If the agents won't help you, we have some girls who are there outside. They know some organization that help right. people. Because in Lebanon, we have too much problem. So they came up with some few organizations that is trying to help the domestic workers. So if mm -hmm. you don't get help, you can come like to me, Mesh, and tell me you have this. I have this problem. Can you tell me where to go? I will direct you to some people who I know. They will help you. Right. But you see what the problem is. What you get a problem, you don't talk to your boss, you don't report to your agency, but you just mm -hmm. go and run away. And we call the runaway skimboy. You go out. <laughs> you... <laughs> Why do you yeah, go out? Them... You go in there. And then mm. maybe you want to run away and then you are both finds you. You will be returned in that house. You will stay without a phone, without any communication. And that's where the mm. trouble starts. Mm. Yeah. Oh, guys, did you hear yeah. that? You start, charity starts, charity begins at home. You start with your boss. Tell your boss the problem before you, 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 you run. Yeah. Tell your agent. Call a friend. I know you have so many people. Call somebody. Tell a problem. A, a problem shared is a problem half solved. Uh -huh. Did you hear that from from the house's mouth? <laughs> um, yes, yeah, because this me, me. Let me cut you short, Millie. You know what? If you have if you have contacted the the office and maybe the consulate. When you run away, you have the evidence. You will say, me, I tried all my best to ask for help, right. and no right. one helped me. So I decided to run away. You have the evidence with you. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> but it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy everywhere, yeah. but people, we try. It's not easy everywhere, even here. It's not easy. Do you are your are your parents still alive? Yeah. Yes, that's why I have a question here. What 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 are your parents saying when they see when they see a girl come for come home in a in a casket? Um, what do they tell you? Uh, for me, let me say, when I came here, I think God came first before I. Because me, the first thing, the reason as to why that pushed me to come here, my cousin, 
my cousin came to Lebanon and then she called me and told me, you know me, I've come, I came to Lebanon two weeks ago and then I decided also may I have to try. So I came, mm-hmm. oh my God, I was one of the luckiest person. I met good people who are Christian, understanding, oh my God, I will never, ever regret of that. So for me, mm-hmm. my parents, they are 100% sure that I am safe in good hands. Oh, okay. All right. Me, for me, I cannot that's, complain. That's good. That's really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good to have good em- employees and understanding employees, right? Yeah, understanding. But you know, you have first ha- the first month, it was not that easy. Because you are getting to know each other. Yeah, the language, they are not understanding English. Yeah. So we are communicating with hands. So, but you see, the book is becoming sad because I'm not understanding. But within one month, I was good. I can talk Arabic. (laughs) Ah, I'm so jealous of you. You can speak four languages now. How many languages can can you speak now? I can speak words. English, Swahili, Kikuyu, Arabic. Eh, eh, eh. Four languages. Oh, okay. Oh, four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good. Um, this one, this one. I ran out of the question. Thank you for the opportunity to interview you. Thank I'm you so, so much. And anytime. And for then, don't forget, for me, I am here for the last seven years. You've been there for seven years? Yes. But they even, it, is it seven? Not even seven. Because next month, it will be eight years. Oh, wow. You went there in 2014? Yeah, 2014. We also came here in 2014. <laughs> really? Oh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe even I could oh. meet you. Maybe I could have met you on the flight, eh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, and I'm wow. happy too. So, so happy. my message to somebody who have a sister or a cousin mm-hmm. or a mother or you yourself and you're willing to come with girls, eh? my dear, don't listen to those stories back there, those people who are dying, those people I don't know, Arabs, they are bad. Yes. If you listen to that, you won't go anywhere. And the people who are saying so, they are still working in Gulf. They are earning money. Mm-hmm. And you, you want to come. Don't be, take a step and risk. In this life, we do risk. Take a step, yeah, apply a for thing. the job, and come. You never know your luck where it is. If you want to go to Saudi, you go to Saudi. We have people in Saudi who are still doing well. Always remember to pray. Pray to God. Eh? Pray to God. Don't listen to anyone. Because the people who are destroying people in Gulf, we ask, ask here. We are earning, but we are there in the media telling people, don't come, don't come, you know, you're going to be killed. Why am I still alive? Mm-hmm. Why am I still alive? Maybe the person who passed away, it was by bad luck. Do you expect mm-hmm. to, to carry the bad luck for your friend? Be yourself, stand firm, be prayerful, and you are going to you are going to glorify God because of what He has done for you. So don't fear. Stop. Leave alone the internet. We have been here for long, yeah. but we are praying for the government of Kenya. Please check about the agents. Agents, please. Agencies, I, yeah. Yeah. The problem starts with the agents because they sold you. I don't like mm-hmm. the word the word sold. It's like you are in yeah. slavery. It, of, in it slavery, is slavery and the, it is selling slavery. you like goats. It is slavery. No doubt. No doubt about that. Even don't even doubt. It is slavery. Oh wow. Huh? But it, oh, Kenya, I think there is no jobs. No job. There's no no jobs and people are suffering and the yes. the prices of stuff have gone up. So people will try anything. People will try yeah. anything. And let people thank risk. you for thank you for 
telling us to to risk <laughs> you yeah, take a leap it. of faith take a leap of mm. faith and try try your luck try your luck and that's really? a wrap yeah. yeah thank 